mess with Texas. Yikes. <laughs> Um, my name is Damon Dominique and I am an American living in Paris, France, um, not Paris, Texas, but even though I do live in Paris, Texas, sorry this like mic shadow, although I do live in Paris, France, I do maintain a lot of my American accounts and when I type in my address, a lot of times what comes up, what comes up, uh, Paris, Texas. And so I thought, well, what better time? To come to Paris, Texas, then Paris, France's third lockdown. <laughs> I took a negative PCR test, a negative antigen test, and got a vaccine the day after I got here. So, you tell me what makes more sense. Me sitting in my apartment twiddling my thumbs once more as I wait for France to get their act together. There's no better time to be in Paris, Texas, is what I'm saying. Alors, juste en face de la Tour Eiffel, on a une location de vélo. Oh my god, we don't even have this technology in Paris. Salut. Oh my god, look at this. Trail de Paris. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I know that Trail de Paris did not leave me here. Y'all, how janky do I look rolling up to the bike park on this city bike? <laughs> Mass with Texas. All good. Just wanted to get a shot of that. Yeah, go ahead. You're cool. No, I'm actually living in Paris, France. Yeah, that's awesome. Are, Paris, Texas, famous and or, or known. So and, they talk about Paris. Texas. Actually, yeah. There's a bar. There's a bar in Paris, France called Paris, Texas Bar and Club. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So they know it. Paris, Texas Bar and Club. Who wants a shot? Close. <laughs> oh. I gotta go to Texas. And wh wh what's there to do in Paris, Texas? This Trail de Paris? Paris? Trail de Paris? Where and what are the boring spots in Texas? But everyone thinks their town is boring. Everybody. Well, I, mean, I mean, you got a Walmart. We got a big lake. <laughs> you got a Walmart. <laughs> you got a Walmart. <laughs> A lot of Christians, it's a big church, it's real rural. <laughs> church on Sunday's popular. Been in Paris all of her life, and probably ain't gonna leave Paris. No plans anyway. Best city on earth, County. Paris. It is very cool. <laughs> I love it. When people ask me what I miss about the United States, I say, a less zoomed in camera, Jesus. I say, the easiness of talking to strangers. People are not afraid to talk to each other. And I, I really like that, because it's like a, it's like we are humans. We're two humans in the same space, like let's chat. There's no need for tension, which I tend to have a lot of in Paris, France. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> It's my favorite city on earth! So, I wanted to pull over just to admire how, like, honestly beautiful this is. And these love locks caught my eye. So they have these as well, but, you know, it's a little less romantic. Because instead of throwing the key away like you're supposed to, you could just come back in the middle of the night, put your combination in, and then take it off. Paris city bikes because you have to go you know, you know. sometimes the video guys just want you to make a good video because I'll tell you this it's not simple and a lot of these American towns that look very similar what we're gonna go eat dinner at Dairy Queen go to Applebee's oh my point my sorry my whole point was like Sometimes the video gods are on your side because this parking spot opened up right here in front of the sign. Let's go check in. Hello, hello, bonjour. Um, I have a... Are you 29? Yes. Uh, let me just look, Sam. Are you 29? Are you 29? <laughs> what, just cause I got a don't mess with Texas shirt and a cowboy hat on? Can't be 29. <laughs> like, 
this is quite the suite. <laughs> oh, thank God I can take that off. <laughs> this is literally bigger than my Paris apartment. 29. <laughs> but she was like laughing when she said it. And when I said yes, she kind of stopped. I was like, oh. Yeah, I am. Like, what did you expect? What was the reasoning for that question, actually? No, I'm not. I'm just lying. Or, yes, I am, but you're trying to make a statement with it as if, like, you don't look your age or something. I mean, again, I don't... But then you have to follow it up with, oh, you look young for your age. Like, because you know that it got weird, so now you're trying to turn it into a compliment so you don't feel awkward. You weren't trying to give me a compliment. You were trying to play me out right there. I said, yes, I'm 29. That's why my eyes are starting to wrinkle. Like, do you want to talk about? <laughs> I'm, real, I'm exhausted um, from jet lag, from actual Paris. But I'm gonna call Chili's Grillin Bar to see if they have room for one. Hi, welcome to Chili's. For to go, I wanna hear some good old American customer service, come on. Hi, I was just curious, do you have room for one? Room for one? If I were, sorry, it sounds like I'm reserving a hotel room. Yeah, if I were to just walk in by myself. Yeah. Okay, there's room for one. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Like, um, did you mean to call a hotel? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just, no, I'm already at a hotel. I was just... Hungry now? What? Ordering online at Chili's.com is fast and easy. Just let us know what? Did you mean to call a hotel? Did you mean to hang up the phone on me? <laughs> Let's go, Chili's. Let's go. Pop! I'll take a side of broccoli, please. Come on, we gotta add some drama to the episode. We need some some arc to the episode, Damon. Come on. That's the one friend I got too, by the way. <laughs> I have a question. Um, when you're calling a restaurant and you're trying to ask just for one person, how do you frame the question? You mean like asking if you have a table for one? Table for one, oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> because I said, do you have room for one? Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense, right? Damn it. I'm having one of those nights thinking that everyone like has attitude with me. <laughs> I'm gonna go fight this person in the Chili's parking lot right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> if you wanna sit at the bar, I can get That's... you in quicker. Anything else to be a little bit. Do you want a menu, hun? Uh. I think I know what I want. Yeah, what can I get you? Well, I'm just gonna get some sides. Okay, I'll throw it on a big plate for you. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I wanted to say, this is such a thing that I don't know if people do. choose this. Like, whoa, whoa, it's like 10 p.m. in Paris, Texas. They don't know how to handle that kind of music. <laughs> um, here's something that you might not have ever thought of if you're not from the United States. So because uh, we work on like a tip system. So basically the, the minimum wage for a server, at least in Indiana, my niece, $2.13. It's on the, I don't know how this became integrated into society, ingrained in society, that it's all, it's like the, it's my responsibility to pay the waiters or the waitresses like salary wages basically it's such a thing this is like when you're smart this is when you're smart you do this you accidentally forget to put something on the bill so that the person thinks that their bill is cheaper they're like oh they didn't they didn't charge me for that extra coca-cola so then you want to be nice to the waiter so you increase their tip so it's like the waiter server is being smart because they're they're like, maybe they will give me more of a tip instead of paying the restaurant. Because the restaurant's not giving me the money. Like, how to cheat the system. <laughs> the system that is cheating you. Got him. Where is my card? Hey. Hey. 
What is happening at Paris Inn Suites right now? Hey, I didn't know she was talking to me. She was. Then I looked at her, she opened her door, and then she was so startled at what she saw in her room, she had opened the wrong room. Anyways, just like drama that I don't care about. <laughs> The sunshine though, this is this is kind of Paris climate I like. As I was getting ready this morning, I was trying to think of what the differences are between Paris, Texas, and Paris, France. I mean, clearly there's a million, but. Well, one of the differences that I always notice is that wardrobe fashion is like, people notice it here as if it's like, if you're going to get dressed up or even kind of like care about how you look for the day, that's something you would do if you're like going to dinner. You know, it's not like a daily occurrence. It's not like you're, you wouldn't just do it. My family used to say like, who do I have to impress? Which I understand. It's like nobody. <laughs> you ain't gotta impress nobody. The reason I'm saying it is because it happens often where people are like, oh, well you look nice today. Or, oh, I like your shirt. Or these pants I wore these other day. Somebody rando, rando on the street. I like your pants. And it was so sweet. I've worn these a million times in Paris. Not one person has said anything. This is how you know I'm in Paris, Texas and not Paris, France. Like CVS, Trader Joe's. And if you want my honest opinion, I was gonna go to Starbucks, but like I want to go to Starbucks, but I'm not gonna go to Starbucks because I know I need to go to the Sunrise Diner <laughs> and struggle to find something vegan there for this video. I mean, I could just go to Starbucks, but Honestly, that's probably just as representative of this town. The amount of interactions you guys haven't seen that actually happened, like... <laughs> damn it! Like, damn it! I had one job! I just talked to two people and had these funny interactions. All I wanted to say was that this is what I love about my country. Tis of thee. Everyone's just in a good mood. Are you 29? Did you mean to call a hotel? <laughs> For the most part. Happy-go-lucky Sunday morning. Hey, have a nice day. How you doing? Oh yeah, maybe you should go check this out. Okay, cool. I ain't been here an hour of my life. Like, I just, people, it's like a whole sitcom. Sunrise Diner. Anybody see it? Anybody see it? Found it. Open 24 hours, baby. Just how I like it. Oh, just one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I bet it is. Yeah. Um, are you from Paris, Texas? Yes. What do you like about Paris, Texas? I love it. You love it? Oh, nothing? Nothing. <laughs> like, Come on. I, 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 I love the people. What do you do on your Sundays? Go to the flea market. There's a flea market? Yes. Yeah. Right hand. Oh, sorry. Right, right hand. I love those. I'll, I'll see you there. Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay, well, I'll see you there after. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm from a state that is pro-gun, okay? I'm from the conservative states. It's just kind of like the people who have guns think that the world is a bad place and they want to look out for themselves and their family and the greater good, but that means that you're like already looking for threats, which means that you're seeing the world as a bad place almost. Like, oh, well, if you think that I'm a bad person, then maybe I should get a gun too. And then we both have guns when we don't actually need them uh, because then we could just both think the same way without the gun. I don't know. Anyways, I, it was on his like, <laughs> he had it in his like saddle. <laughs> he was ready for a blowout at the Sunrise Diner. Um, like at the diner, 
where my oatmeal and coffee and toast was $4.97. You think that you need your gun there? I don't know. And just the last thing, like, I, I, just like things that I notice when I travel, why are all the white people in one area and the black people in the other? Like, and then I saw two people walk in and they chose to sit in the smallest booth in like the white section. Instead of going to the other side, again, maybe they wanted to be by the window, maybe they wanted to look out, I don't know, maybe they just like small booths, I don't know. But they had like six other, like, big booths to sit in, but they didn't sit up. I, again, I don't know. I'm an observer. I'm just here to show what I see. I'm a YouTube journalist. <laughs> Rolling up! Paris Flea Market! The thing I like about these kind of places too is like you just kind of do what you want. Like, oh, you want to park over here? Oh, yeah, sure. Damn it! Just as I said, I could park and do what I want. <laughs> so, uh, where where can I park? I'm sorry, it's my first time. Look at me getting along with a guy in a Trump hat. <laughs> can I say? But when you do spend time in these places, you see why maybe they might think certain ways. Like, okay, if you're working at that diner that I was just at, where my entire meal was $4.97, they're not getting paid much either, you know? Not only do you not have money to spend, but you as the worker are not making enough money. So when you hear $15 minimum wage, you're like, what? I can't pay that. You want my business to close. I'm actually making a video on Paris, Texas, because uh, I live in Paris, France. All right. Can I talk cool. to you? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, are you from here? No, I originally grew up in Michigan. Moved down here about three years ago, so I lost my job because of disability. We're living in a motorhome, and the wife said, well, we can make extra money at flea markets. But the owner gave me a job as manager. Oh yeah, so you're, you're the one in charge of this whole right. thing. A lot of people don't know we're out here. This is but, great. But I've been talking to people, and they said, well, that's too far to go. <laughs> six, six miles. Tell them you met a guy named Damon who traveled from Paris, France, to come to Paris, Texas. <laughs> Her dad was staying in Honey Grove. I went to Honey Grove. I passed through Honey Grove. And some cool ones out here. Well, folks, I can't say I'm surprised because um, it's just right on brand. For most American cities, the, the center of life is one, not on the street, it's in your car. And two, it's no longer downtown because there's no parking for your car. <laughs> with southern sass. Here's the thing that's going through my head right now. I'm like, I gotta pee, but I'm hesitating to ask somebody because they're gonna be like, what do you expect, go on the tree? But then I'm also afraid to go on any tree because I just feel like then somebody might say, get the hell off my property. So I'm just like, I would do this in Paris, so why am I worried here? This like looks sketchy. This looks sketchy, what am I doing? See, probably made so many people proud just now. One thing I should mention is that <laughs> when I filmed that intro shot in front of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, the thing is, if you've ever been there, you notice that there are all these men who are selling these like little knickknacks. I got five of these for one euro. Little keychain Eiffel Towers, and I was like, what can I do with these in Paris, Texas? And I think I need to donate them to the flea market. <laughs> Damien, yeah, I know. Damien or Damon? Damon, but I'll go for Damien. <laughs> well, like I said, Dumpin' Dig. Dumpin' Dig. Dumpin' Dig. <laughs> it seems like so everything. I'll kind of your hand. I'll right. I'll find some pleasure in there. <laughs> old ladies come out here and I'll give my old handful of that stuff out there, you know. I'm basically an old lady. Excuse me? Hi. <laughs> Would you want these? I have these little keychains. I put one on my keychain. Yeah, I uh, I live in Paris, and these are all over near the Eiffel Tower. Uh, Paris, France. Paris, France. Oh wow! Paris, France. Yeah. Hey, 
from Paris? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I can say I got something from Paris. There you go. Have a good I'm one. My daughter and one of my best friends. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Yep. Ooh, I love this. <laughs> but, what's going on? Right <gasps> okay. Yeah, I gotta. That's really, really nice. Have a good day. Right, have a good one. See ya. Oh. He remembered my name. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm still on that chicken being snatched from the cage by its feet, shoved into a bag, and then sold to like the highest paying customer. Oh my god, those noises. Like, how could you want to eat that after that? Anyways, the flea market manager knows my name, so... This just feels right to have this on here. Um, I wanted to say, we're wrapping this video up in the Walmart parking lot. Yes, there is a Walmart uh, here in Paris, Texas. Um, as I was looking at my Paris visitor and newcomer's guide, a few things that I wanted to tell you. First, the town got its name because how far got to <laughs> Basically somebody 150 years ago had been to Paris, France, and like had fond memories of the city. I just wanted to see how much an apartment cost here, just to compare, because I pay what, 995 euros, which is probably 1200-ish dollars, 1100 dollars, but I'm in the smack dab center of Paris, France. Like these couldn't be in a better location. Do you believe that you can still pay $1,200 here? One thing's for sure though, I'm sure their repairmen show up on time. Last thing I wanna end this video on is that the more I travel, the more I see what people mean. I see why people might react a certain way, and that's again the whole point of this channel. You may not have to agree with everybody, but you just need to understand people's behavior. Much like, I mean, maybe some people here could learn from me. Maybe my presence in this town is teaching people something, just as they're teaching me something. So, all right, cool. Uh, I gotta drive five hours to Houston, so I better get on this. <laughs> Later. Oh, subscribe if you'd like to. Um, Team D, the Dominions, the Dominican Republic, we are here, we're here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll be here and on Instagram, bisous. A tout à l'heure. See you next Thursday. <laughs>
I feel like I need to address this. I don't feel like I have this audience to like nitpick really, but I just gotta say it anyway because there's gonna be videos here in Texas and in Florida. I have exhausted the videos I can do in my tiny, like 100 square feet apartment. Like I'm tired of people shaming others. Like instead of shaming people for wanting to live their lives, like let's put pressure on the government. Like get the vax, like how is it that I got the vaccine for? already appointments on appointments all for free like anyone who wants one can get one <laughs> like y'all when you check for the day there are still vaccines that are just going empty like that's how much they got here so it makes you wonder like okay well why did we have so much here but what like what is the barrier for france right now is it that they want to just see how the vaccine goes understandable is it that they don't want to allocate funds to that? Like, I don't know. And also, I'm just, like, so tired of talking about COVID. Like, I don't know the answers, so I'm just kind of, like, filling up space. You want to talk about frustration? Tell me how I was in the park reading a book. Okay, I wasn't wearing my mask, but I was in a park. I was in a park. And the police officer tells me to put my mask on, but the lady next to me is smoking. That's okay. Like, there's something weird about that. Okay, now I... Like, she's smoking a cigarette, but I can't breathe in the real air. <laughs> I hope that that works for you guys, because that works a lot better for me than just staying in Paris waiting for the vaccine, which, like, may never come for me as an immigrant. I don't really know how it's going to work. I don't think anybody really knows. My name is David Dominique, and I live in Paris. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I do. I miss Jay, guys. Josh was the owner of a motel in Indiana that I bonded with. He even called me afterwards to thank me for making a video about his motel. Hey, he's dumb. I knew I should have gone to Applebee's. <laughs> yeah, I see you got a Don't Mess With Texas shirt, so you kind of- <laughs> I got this yesterday. <laughs> I'm all for, because I, I make videos for YouTube. Well, folks, if anybody was ever wondering what's going on in Petty, Texas, we got cars parked in the parking lots with the trunk open. This car needs to get off my ass. That's what I want. Like, go around! Jesus. There are other people who are naturally those who, yes, please, go around me. Like, you don't, like, I didn't ask for you to just, do you want me to, like, latch you onto the back of the rental car? What do you guys know about Paris? Paris, Paris, France. Paris, France. Or have you been there? and chocolate. Champ, Champs-Élysées. It's a long ways away. <laughs> it's a long ways away, that's for sure.